G'day, we've got bloke news for Tuesday the 14th of November. I'm Dave with the news. Hey, I was in the bank the other day and they had this sign on the wall saying, Hurry, offer ends 31st of December. And I thought, hurry, that's ages away. Then I went, oh, it ain't. It's not that far away at all. Bloody hell, pull my finger out. Now, in news today, schoolies week is uh, coming up, uh, I think next week or next couple of weeks or whatever, but all these bloody do-gooders are on the bandwagon now. All the kids are going to psychologically damage themselves. All oh, they're all going to turn into raging alcoholics. All oh, they're all going to be sexually assaulted, blah, blah, blah. Get off the bloody bandwagon. They're kids, they're just out to have a good time. How much pressure have you put on them to get bloody get VCE and HSC results and all that sort of stuff, whatever? They've got to let their hair down sometimes. They're having a massive piss-up. There's a top way to do that, the good old Aussie style. So, lay off. I'm sure they'll be fine. They're almost adults. Some of them are adults. Well, actually, I actually hope they're not adults, but they're 18, 17, thereabouts. Um, state elections. Geez, we've got one here in Victoria, and I am sick to death of the bloody lies and the crap that they come out with. You know... $13.6 million for this, $1.9 billion for that, $111 million for this. All these promises that they make, which half of them are going to be broken anyway. Hey, here's my thing. If you've come out with these policies now, you must have known for a long time something's wrong and needs to be addressed, and now you're saying we're going to fix it because there's an election on? Why wouldn't you fix it when you realised something was wrong? Lying bastards. All of them. Now, following up also in school reports that the federal government wants a whole grading system, A to E, A is really good, E is a failure. And as all these teachers, oh no, we don't want that because that's comparing kids against one another and being competitive and, you know, you, you could be psychologically damaging kids, you know, blah, blah, blah. Get over it. It's a rating system. You've got to have some sort of rating system to work out where kids are at. And there's nothing wrong with some kids being better than other kids. It's just a fact of life. It's called pecking order in the, in the natural world. Some animals are better than other animals. And there's lions fight for bloody hierarchy and who's the king of the jungle. All this sort of stuff. Nothing wrong with that happening in kids either. Now, so I've got to do celebrity stuff. I hate celebrity stuff, but there's Borat, dude. Can you find anyone that's getting more boring? I have to say, I've seen him now in about half a dozen different interviews and he comes up with the same jokes. Now, in a 30-second interview, you surely you can find some new material that's going to be a little bit funnier than, oh, woman drive plane like monkey, or whatever it is that he craps on about. And the other thing, this guy's Jewish and he's having a crack against the Jews. Mel Gibson's not Jewish. He had a crack against the Jews. Ah, double standards. I think I'm going to make bloke news about double standards from now on. Yeah. Hey, Sonia, what do you got for us today? I met a guy the other night. He said his star sign was Aquarius and I went, Ooh, we're not compatible. He started to abuse me and I said, See? <laughs> You're a better comedian than I am, I reckon. Not that I'm saying that I'm a comedian, by the way. Anyway, just to finish up with, the Spanish Consul General in New South Wales has had the Federal Police over to his place because his partner, who also happens to be male, um, slapped him. I'm Dave. This is Bloke News.